I'm Victoria Felton. I am an assistant costume designer on Shipwrecked and Entertainment, and welcome Behind the Curtain. Uh, I was in charge of designing and with the help of some of our crew and work studies in the costume shop, um, making the Queen Victoria puppet for Shipwrecked. Um, John Michael, the director, was uh, really interested in using uh, a sort of bread and puppet theater inspired look for the Queen Victoria puppet, um, which led us to um, the ultimate design, which was a larger head with a very minimal uh, designed body. The head we formed by taking a, um, a bag of polyfill and we wrapped it in a plastic trash bag and then uh, paper mache using shop towels and a glue vinegar plaster mixture. Um, to create a hardened form, after which we took out the polyfill and sealed the rounded head around a um, reused army helmet. Using um, Crayola sculpting clay, we formed out the face and covered it as well with the paper mache mixture and ultimately let that dry and spray painted it with two different colors. The base of the puppet was reused from a prior um, design, but uh, what it consists of is a um, backpacking, hiking backpack. Um, the base of that, because it has the strong, sturdy back support, uh, and then built on top of it is football padding. Um, we then basically altered it so that um, it would sit lightly on the actor's shoulders. We then built a, um, basically as you would a normal draping um, of a dress and attached a repurposed hoop skirt underneath. Um, we ripped the hoop skirt in half and spread it open so that you can see the actor clearly when they are um, manipulating the arms and speaking for the puppet. Um, the hands are just the same sort of clay that we used for the facial features of the puppet. Um, we glued those to some two-inch dowel rods and they will eventually be a part of the sleeve and be manipulated by Jose.